Understanding the phrase, state of affairs. Hello and welcome to today's English learning video. Today, we're diving into the interesting phrase, state of affairs. It's a phrase you might come across in books, news, or everyday conversations. Our goal is to help you understand what it means and how you can use it in your own conversations. The phrase, state of affairs, refers to the current condition or situation of something. It's often used to talk about complex situations, like those in politics, business, or personal matters. For example, if someone says, the state of affairs at the company is not good, they are talking about the overall situation at the company, which in this case, is negative. Understanding the origin of phrases can often help in remembering them. The phrase, state of affairs, dates back to the 18th century. State, in this context means condition or circumstances, and, affairs, refers to matters or events. So, it literally means the condition of events or matters. Let's look at some examples of how to use state of affairs in sentences. 1. The current state of affairs in global politics is quite complex. 2. After the storm, the state of affairs in the city was chaotic. 3. He was unhappy with the state of affairs in his personal life. Notice how the phrase can be used in various contexts, from global issues to personal matters. Be careful not to confuse state of affairs with affair in the sense of a romantic relationship. Also, remember that state of affairs usually describes a broader situation, not a specific event. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and use of the phrase, state of affairs. Remember, it's all about the overall condition or situation of something. Try using it in your conversations to describe complex situations. See you in the next video.